Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and in this video, we're going to go over more of the free agency that has been happening over the past so many hours. Um, again, if you guys haven't seen my other three videos so far, please go check them out. Uh, here, I will just give my opinions and you know, I, my opinions and thoughts on these signings, where the players are moving, and things like that. Um, this is in no particular order or team or by player. It's just how I'm getting the information down and giving it to you guys. So uh, these guys, um, majority of these guys, I either missed or were recent uh, signings that's occurred in the first couple hours. Um, overall, again, these I'm trying. I'm getting these from the NHL social media sites such as NHL Network, NHL the official NHL. Uh, uh, social media sites as well so you know bear with me again i'm just trying to get as many of these guys out as i can uh first off we have washington capitals extending connor mcmichael their first their centerman he was being paid 863k um for his contract but is now signed to a two-year 2.1 million average and i think this is great for the caps um a cheap player who can center you know I think they played him really well this season considering the injuries to Backstrom and then or not injuries but the leave from Backstrom and the um, discard of Kuznetsov. I think McMichael going forward can improve and definitely show he's got what it takes to be a kind of a maybe second line center for sure. Uh, we'll see what else the Capitals do going forward but you know I think this is a good signing for them for a couple more years. Uh, moving next on to the Carolina Hurricanes again, they're making a lot of uh, splashes in this free agency. They actually extend Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Martin Nook for 1.8 to a three-year, uh, three million average. So that's a pretty big increase uh, from his uh, last contract. But overall, I think he deserves it. It's a decent contract for them. Uh, I'm not saying Martin Nook's like the best player or anything like that, but he's a definitely good mi middle six player. And I think that works out for the Hurricanes for sure. Again, I said in the last video, I don't care about the Hurricanes as much. But hey, you know, if they think if they think Martin Nook's a good fit for them, I don't see why not. Um, moving on to Nashville, they have signed Jonathan Marcheseau to a five-year, 5.5 average contract, and this is a shocker to me. I cannot believe the Vegas Golden Knights have let Marcheseau walk. Um, to me, Marcia Sow is one of those key pieces to the Golden Knights lineup that keeps them stabilized. And seeing him walk away, I think the Golden Knights are going to fall. That That is my bold prediction right now. That I think the Golden Knights are going to fall for sure because of this. And overall, I think this is good for Marcia Sow. He's going to Nashville, who's been uh, in, you know, bolstering their team right now in this free agency. So for sure, I think... This is good for him, and the price is right, I think. 5.5 is pretty good per year. Uh, moving on to Toronto, they actually have a couple signings. First off, my favorite player outside of the Kings, Oliver ekman Larson, signs a four-year, 3.5 million average for Toronto, and I think this is great for him. Again, I mentioned in a previous video, without ekman Larson, I don't think the Panthers would have had as a successful season as they did, considering that Branton Montour and Aaron Ekblad were both out to start the season. And ekman Larson essentially came in as a free agent and took over as the number one D for a good portion of the season. So ekman Larson still has what it takes to be a solid top four defenseman, in my opinion. Not to mention he's adding a physical game to his repertoire and I think this is great for him uh, going to Toronto hopefully he helps them on the back end because I think that's one of the biggest issues for Toronto they always make the playoffs but they always falter at the end because they don't have enough defense and they don't get enough scoring Ekman Larson can provide both the defense and the offense when needed and so I think this is a perfect signing for them and then they also signed Anthony Stolarz as their goaltender for two years at 2.5 million average as well. And overall, I think this is a decent signing. I don't know exactly what the mindset is for the goaltending because Toronto already has uh, Joseph Wool, who I thought played pretty well last season before he got injured. So 
for them to have two cheap goalies, I think this will be okay. I mean, the LA Kings did it with Talbot, Riddick, and Copley all at one mil. So I think for sure, Joseph Wall on a cheap contract and Stolarz on a 2.5 contract, I think this will work out for them um, if they have the goaltending coaching that the LA Kings can give, right? If Toronto can get their goaltending going, I think uh, for sure they can be one of the top teams in the league this year. But of course, that's yet to be seen with uh, Mitch Marner not being signed just yet as well. So we'll see what happens going forward for Toronto. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, they signed Sean Monaghan to a five-year, 5.5 average contract. That is way too much for Sean Monaghan. I respect him. I think he was a great player when he was a flame. But as of right now, his time in Montreal and then the Jets last season, yeah, he, he, he's way overpaid. 5.5 is just too much. And it's for five years. So the Blue Jackets are one of the worst teams in the league. Let's be honest with that. And he's just going to a worse team. There's no way he's going to be able to shine on a worse team. So in my opinion, this is a horrible signing. Probably one of the worst this free agency has seen. But of course, like I've always said, the parody of the league is any team can be good at any time. And Sean Monaghan, who knows? Maybe he'll be what the Blue Jackets need to, you know, get their skill game going. Because right now they are just pretty bad. So overall, I don't think this is good. But who knows? San Jose signs Tyler Toffoli. Four years, six million average. Way too much, I think, for Toffoli. Um, unfortunately, I love Toffoli. I named my cat after him. Uh, I miss him, and he would have been perfect if he returned to the Kings. I heard rumors that he would have, but he didn't because we need the right-handed. I mentioned in the other videos, we need right-handed shots on the LA Kings, and we are still neglecting to do that, including what I will talk about later in this video, another left-handed signing. So to fully go into the San Jose Sharks, I think that's good for the Sharks because they need the skilled players to become relevant in the NHL again. But as far as the price, four years, I don't care. Six mil is what the problem is for me. Um, I don't think Toffoli's worth that much anymore. Five mil maximum, I think. Um, he could put up better numbers, in my opinion. So overall, you know, I don't really care. San Jose is not exactly the team I root for. But I do root for California teams if the Kings are not relevant, right? So good for them getting Toffoli. I'm sad to see him go to NorCal instead of SoCal. Moving on to Nashville, they signed Brady Shea to a seven year, seven mil contract. Or seven years, seven mil average. Sorry about that. That is just slightly too much. I think Brady Shea is a good, good player, but maybe like a six mil contract. I think that would have been the best option here. Um, seven mil is just a little bit too much in my opinion. But overall, I think Nashville is definitely, again, bolstering their lineup right now in this uh, in this free agency. And adding Jonathan Marshall and Steven Stamkos, like this is just an incredible addition for them. So overall, I think the Nashville Predators are looking to be contenders for sure in the Central Division. Uh, Detroit, they signed Cam Talbot. Two years, 2.5 average. So Cam Talbot moves on from LA. It's a uh, 1.5 million extra for what we were paying him in LA. Good for him. I didn't really care about him coming to the Kings in the first place. So I don't care about him leaving, to be honest. And in my opinion, we didn't really need three goaltenders. Unfortunately, Copley did get his surgery. So in the end, it worked out. But overall, I don't really care about Talbot. Um, I think he played okay. And I think the King, he did enough for the Kings. Um, as I've mentioned many times before, the Kings couldn't score. And that's what really led to our losses. But hopefully Cam Talbot, you know, continues to do what he's doing. Uh, he's getting up there in the in the age category. But hey, you know what? If he's still relevant in the, in the league, good for him. I wish him all the best. Ottawa signs Michael Amadio. Three years, 2.6 average contract. I think that's also too much, maybe $2 million maximum. Uh, overall, his time in Vegas wasn't exactly outstanding. I know he played some top-line roles because of the centerman being out, such as Jack Eichel, but that doesn't make him a great player. So, in my opinion, Mario, too much 
but three years congratulations to him again he's going to ottawa so it's not like it's amazing because they suck unfortunately great on paper not execution but who knows maybe a model is what they need you know kind of that third line role maybe perhaps straight up third line centerman for them to work it out i don't know we'll see what happens going forward for them but either way as a former king i'm happy that he's still relevant in the nhl i just you know wish he was a little bit better um and then of course going into the la king signing for this first signing rather i should say for the free agency and i am pissed off about this one warren fogel from the edmonton Oilers signs a three-year 3.5 average contract with the kings again he is a left-handed shot left-handed what the hell are we doing the entire roster is going to be made of left-handed shots not even a joke i can't even think off the top of my head any of the right-handed shots on the la kings right now like that is absolutely insane that we only sign left-handed players jeno came over he's left-handed and it's like oh my god what are the la kings thinking rob blake needs to be fired for sure any case the price is perfect for warren fogel i will give him that and i ha i have nothing against fogel in fact i actually do like him i liked him as an oiler for sure i thought he fit solidly on their third line kind of role but for him to come over we could have paid arvidsson four mil instead of fogel for 3.5 arvidsson's a right hand and we have no right hands for fogel's a left and this just does not work out um as far as having Fogel, I think this is confirmation that we are not, and I am sad to say this, but we are not signing Blake Lazat to another contract, which is stupid as shit. And excuse my language there, but I, yeah, the LA Kings, you're thrown. You're thrown now, and I'm really upset about that. So, welcome Warren Fogel to LA. I hope you do really good for us, because I do think your price is perfect for you. Um, unless you don't hit the 40 point mark again, then that's a little bit of a disappointment. Otherwise, you know, wish him the best of luck overall. And then of course, finally to end this video, we have Florida extending Dmitry Kulikov to a, from a 1 million contract to a four year 1.15 average. So 1.15, 0.15 more than he was before, uh, even before on his one year contract. Overall, I don't really care. It's, you know, good signing for them cheap you know solid d and you get what you need from a stanley cup champion um overall i know a little bit lackluster in the, the video but hey you know i think they like him they liked his style of game and i think that works out for them definitely helped him get a stanley cup you know brought to florida so that's all that really matters um again this is a shorter video um or, i'm trying to keep these videos short as possible this one had more players than the past two um again if i missed anybody i i apologize i'm trying to get these guys out as much as i can um and of course just these are just my thoughts and opinions if you guys disagree or you know or agree with me let me know in the comment section because there's a lot of things happening a lot of players moving signings and everything is just rapid fire right now i i'm actually very surprised how rapid fire this free agency is going so stay tuned for the next video and i will catch you guys over there Bye bye